Because this is in a task pane within SolidWorks, we can expand the task pane to be out wider. Now that didn't really do too much, but it was enough to expose a couple of more buttons down the end here. The next button that we have here is the export component marks to Excel. So if you click that button, it will export all the component marks out and we can save it into our project and I can put it into my export consolidation and go save. Okay, now I can go to my project and I'm in my exports area and I can open up the consolidation information that is in the database now in my Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so what does this do? Well, this allows you to do a myriad of things. You can see that your project number, whether it's a master component, a parent component, we call it, and which parent ID matches that ID. So this is how a parent-child relationship works. But in this process, you can have this as a backup plan if you accidentally delete your marks, you can come back and fix them, or you can even swap them around. So now you can export it out into Excel, and I could change all those marks related to that one component to be another mark. But you have to watch that you do not select another mark, because if you select another mark, you then merge the component properties which is these here, with the same component. And then you may have to really clean up your mess because it will be a mess. You notice here that these components that have been collected have the same properties. If I was to merge these items with the same properties with these items along here, they have different properties. So then we both have uh, one item with the same mark but they're different components, and that can leave a mess. So you have to be very careful about how you shift these around. Because once you've done that, and you have shifted them around, and I've done this before, and i found the best thing to do is to select all the headers, go in here and go Filter, and go Filter Selected Cell Value. And then on the Filter, make sure you select All, and now I can filter what I want to see. So let's say... I'm looking for the last plate in the order. If I select my comp mark, you can see that if I scroll down, I've got sections and plates. My last comp mark for my plate was 67. So that if I wanted to shift something to the end, I can do it quite easily. If I look through my model mark system, you might find that you might have a gap. And if you have a gap, then you can pick from the end. So you untick everything. Or you could go through and change your component type to just plate, which will filter out just the plates. And then go into your plates and select the component that you're going to move to a new mark. And you can see in this particular case, we've only got one and it is the parent. So if we were to change the mark for this item, to the next item in the list or to a gapped item we then can save this spreadsheet make sure that you set everything back to full settings save the spreadsheet close it import which is the next button over the marks that you have exported out into your spreadsheet When you re-import these marks, it will update the marks for you based on the ID column of that component. So don't change items in that spreadsheet unless it's absolutely necessary. And I find the only place that I would ever want to change anything in that spreadsheet is in the marks. But you have to be very careful about what marks you change. So then what it does is then go straight into consolidation straight after and makes sure that the item that I have just changed has its custom property updated to the new mark. 
Okay, so our consolidation is complete. If we were to scroll down to the last plate, number 68, which was 67, and we shifted it, it's now 68. So that change happened due to what I changed in the spreadsheet.